In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and they shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructs the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to be truly wise and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word. But then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the, is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, Tito Mama. Um, let's proceed to the three pointers, Titaline. Unmute, Titaline. Please unmute yourself, Titaline. <clears throat> no three pointers today, Sister MJ. Okay. I think um, uh -huh. sorry. Oh, it's okay. Huh? So so anyway, um the gospel for today no is uh very similar to yesterday's and uh, I think this is the third day that we have uh, like the same gospel, no? Um almost the same. Well, not almost, but the same gospel. So an uh, emphasis uh, today's gospel is in, um the emphasis are um the 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 three kinds of soil the three kinds of soil and, and i think this is more uh, descriptive but this is clearer than than the other gospel no? well, for me personally no and then okay so since we have uh, we have read this um uh, this uh, gospel and we have uh, have had our reflections in the past no if we if we read the the uh, the the gospel. Sometimes maybe we are soil. Um, we are we are different kinds of soil. We cannot be consistent. Sometimes when faced with challenge, we cannot be consistent. Uh, all the time we are the good soil, or all the time we are we are the um, the 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 uh, uh, the seed the seed on a rocky ground. Some sometimes we are seed. Sometimes our heart is seed that have thorns, different kinds of situation in life. So it is our choice, you no, know, which which uh, uh, place, um, which seed are we? Which seed are we? Are we the seed that that uh, that was sown on the gra uh, uh, rocky ground, or the seed that? that uh, so um that's sown among the thorns or the seed that was sown in a good soil because sometimes given a situation for example during the times of tribulation you know, we are good we hear the words we, we 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 are so happy that we hear the words 
we believe in the words, we hope in the, uh, in the words, and we have faith in the words. But tribulations come, sufferings come. Sometimes we are tempted to change our mind or to change the, the, soil, the, the kind of soil, uh, soil in our heart. Sometimes, um, sometimes the lure, well, we are already good, um, the seeds planted in our hearts, um, the, the, our hearts are in are, are good seeds. But sometimes, sometimes because of the lure of material things, we forget or we tend to forget about the, about the, the, uh, the, the seeds that were planted in our hearts. We were, we, our tendency is to follow, to follow the lure of material things. So in, in our lifetime, in our lifetime, Sometimes we are the we are the seeds that were sown on the rocky ground. Sometimes and in a place where where birds uh, eat eat the 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 seeds, or sometimes our 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 experience because of our experience. Sometimes um our our uh, we are the seed that were sown on a good ground or in the rocky rocky uh, ground or or you know um with with weeds or with thorns so it's up to us to be consistent to be consistent at least we pray hard at least we pray hard ba na our hearts or we are the seeds who remain in the good soil all the time by means of prayers, by means of of uh, Bible studies, reading the Bible and reflections, and of course also uh, because of the of the um, the inspiration, we inspire each other, we pray for each other, and um, we pray for each other most especially in times of uh, tribulations and trials, especially. You know? Sometimes in times of trouble and and um, in times of trouble and and, and sufferings, no, and and um, and um, um, uh, problems, problems in our heart, no, problems in these situations, problematic situations. Sometimes we we tend to to change to change the soil well in our hearts. So because of and then and then because of this ministry, because of other other people, uh, because of the prayers, we we are back. We are we are made to be back as seed in the good soil. Very, very important. Prayers, encouragement, wisdom of others to keep our soil to keep us a seed in in a good soil amen amen, amen. Hey, mj would you like to listen to the message there are no three pointers just a message yeah oh, please go ahead the message on for today's gospel jesus used the parable of the sower to explain to his disciples to live out faith more faithfully, they must motivate themselves to overcome countless temptations and attachments in their lives with a firm commitment. Think, how can we overcome temptation and live out our faith with flexible fidelity? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tita. Yeah, it's true. So I have here, okay. Um, I'm going to share a reflection from Marino das Marinas. No, let me let me close my video. Okay, from Marino das Marinas. Reflection. Do you allow the words of Jesus to transform you? For example, you attend Holy Mass or you read the Bible. After doing it, what happens to you? Do you allow these sacred experiences to slowly transform you to become a better follower of the Lord? Or nothing happens for it is just a passing experience that you did not treasure. 
when you encounter the words of Jesus, you must always allow it to create a transformation within you. It doesn't matter how slow the transformation. What is important is you are being transformed to become a better and productive followers of Jesus. God would always want to connect himself with us, yet it's us who creates distance from God. It's very true. We don't respond to God's desire to connect because we fear that God would, would restrict our movement and behaviors. But this is but this is who God is the moment you get serious with him. If you allow him, he will truly restrict your movements and behaviors, but you have nothing to worry because this is for your own good. For example, God will, restri will restrict you from doing bad, God will restrict you from continuing with your vices, vices that don't do not that do nothing to you except to destroy you and your loved ones. But you need not worry about these restrictions because these restrictions are for your own good, not for anyone's good, but for your own good. Now, when you allow the words of God to grow and bear fruit in your heart, you become like the seed sown on rich soil. Do you allow the words of God to transform you? Do you allow it to bear good and useful fruits in your life? From Marino das Marinas. Amen. 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 Very true, no? Very beautiful yeah. and very true. Very, very true. So it's up for us. We still have our free will, no? But it's up for us really what is our reaction when we hear the words of god what is our reaction it has to be transformation to be uh, for us in our part not transformation to be a better person amen. amen to be what kind of soil to be what kind of soil you are amen amen, amen. amen. Tita Bed, do you have something from Father Kaluwag or from? Yeah, from Father Tito. Uh, this is a very familiar, familiar parable, the three types of soil. We should pray for the graces we need to become followers of Christ. Number one is we need to have understanding. We need to understand the word and the will of God in our lives so that his words, when we hear them, it will not be taken away. But we should try to understand how the Lord moves in our lives. Understanding our faith. And as what you have said, MJ, when we listen to his word, do we allow his words to transform us, to become a better person. And the ways to do that is to read the scriptures, to, re to read religious books, to study, and to pray, and to do reflections. Then I said to myself, oh, we're doing that in our Zoom prayer meeting. So we are in the right track after all. No? That's how we cultivate the word of God in our lives so that it will mm -hmm. impact on how we live our lives after we hear the word of God. Number two, we have to pray for rootedness. Meaning, we have to be rooted in his word to become the good type of soil, not the rocky one, so that we will allow the word of God to take roots in our lives, to develop a sense of loving and dedication to the word of God. The rootedness is the love of God that helps us to endure trials 
deepen our faith and trust God. Number three that we should pray for in order to follow him is detachment. That certain attachment to material to materials, goods, to material things. That's what we should pray for also because it tends to show our, the words that we have received from God, it tends to deviate us from following Jesus. So we should pray for the grace to detach ourselves from material goods. Amen. 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 Yeah, beautiful, no? beautiful, beautiful, different kinds of uh, reflections, um, different kinds of reflections. We have, we have to um, dedicate ourselves to read the Bible or read the gospel and then reflection. So to, to keep, to keep us, um, to keep ourselves uh, like seeds sown. Uh, on a uh, good soil. We we try our best to remain that way. Try our best to remain that way. Kasi sometimes, sometimes no, through experience man siguro in the past, no, na sometimes you are tempted to to ano, no, especially during trials and tribulations, no, in our life or sufferings, pains in our life, we are tempted to, you know, uh, to um, uh, our faith will uh, waver sometimes. Yeah. But uh, let's let's uh, especially during tribulations and trials. But let's keep the faith burning. That means that let's keep ourselves like seeds sown in the good soil. And also to make sure that whatever we hear, whatever good news we hear, share it to the rest of our brothers and sisters because we have our obligation we have an obligation to spread the good news amen okay. amen 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 ito mas um, parehong pareho yung i-reflect ko doon sa binasa mo kay Das Marinas eh no kaya na sabi na wala na pati yung kay kaluwag nandoon din pati pati yung tayo reference well i will just add a little something yeah it's this gospel speaks about the sower. And who is the sower? It's Jesus. It's God. And what is the seed? The word of God. Word, yeah. See? The now, word of God. how do we uh, make that seed grow? It must not remain just a seed. It has to grow. And bear fruit. You know, sinasabi dito. It has to bear fruit. Now we are we were given that faith. But sabi nga doon sa reflection about restrictions. Yeah, there are we feel that we are being restricted. The Ten Commandments we treat as restrictions, but actually it's a guide for us. No? Guide natin yun. Hindi tayo nire restrict. Yun akala natin nililimitahan tayo. No? Now, to make it grow, we have to pray. We have to read the word. Reflect on it. Live the gospel. Live. Isa buhay mo. You may have the faith. Now comes the works. Faith without work is dead. Sabi nga ni St. James. Santiago. No? Faith without words is dead. Pero sabi naman na iba, faith alone saves. 
but that's not uh, very correct. It has. The word of God makes a pathway within us. It's a path. We listen to it with our ears. And it, it must pass through our hearts. Uh, kailangan it tumimo sa ating puso yung napakinggan natin na salita. No? Now, it must not just remain there. No? It must, yun nga, tumimo sa ating puso. It must go to our hearts. And from the heart, it passes. Pupunta sa ating mga kamay, yung paggawa na ng mga magbubuti. To do good deeds. And that's how it will grow. Amen. 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 May isang ano dito, no? I, I, I'll share to you what, just one paragraph. No? I got this from from uh, daily, daily Catholic Gospel and Reflections. It says here, Reflect today upon this high calling from our Lord, achieving the goal of having exceptionally rich soul, uh, rich soul in your heart. For the word of God requires unyielding commitment and determination. There are numerous temptations that will fight against the creation of a fertile heart. Yeah. Numerous temptations. Try to look at your own heart today. Yeah, ito. Try to look at your heart, uh, own heart today. Be honest. How fertile is it? See? How fertile is our heart? That's a self-examination at, you know? Does the word of God grow there? And if so, does it grow to superabundance? Commit yourself to the goal of becoming that rich soil in which the word of God is sown, that not only bears good fruit, but bears good fruit that is a hundredfold. Beautiful, no? Beautiful uh, message for us. Amen. 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 So let's uh, let's uh, keep on praying. That's our fertilizer. Eh? That's our fertilizer. Keep on praying. Um, read the gospel. Read the Bible, especially the gospel. Um, reflections, and so that yun ang mga ano natin mga kumbaga, fertilizer natin. Good soil nga tayo. We are in the good soil, but dapat i eh, ano pa i eh, to keep it to keep it good. And and to keep the good the the seed no um uh, become um ano yung tawag dito fruitful super abundance with fruits um lagyan natin ng fertilizer prayers bible gospel reading reflections sharing yun ang mga fertilizers natin to keep to keep our heart a good soil maintain maintain it na good soil ang heart natin amen 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 um any other any other piece of your thought Miga Belen for the closing prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, may you bless us with your never ending love. May you fill our cups with joy and may our lands overflow with abundance. May all glory and honor come back to you in heaven as we dedicate its life to you, O Lord. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And all and all together, please.
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night.